Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today on our Clash Without Walls account. Now, I just did a live raid. Um, and I was recording it and my thing froze over here so we weren't able to get the footage but I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what I plan on doing today in this episode. Um, I'll go ahead and replay that attack that I just had and then we're going to have one more attack once our troops are done in just a second. I think we only have one more yet, just one more to train up. So all of our gold upgrades are done besides our elixir collectors. We have a lot of um, elixir upgrades to do left though. We have to upgrade this to level 7, and then once that's up to 7, we have to upgrade all of them to level 8. We have this to upgrade our army camp so that we can get 5 more troops in there up to level 6. Both of these are already level 6, so all we need is about uh, 30,000, 30, 32,000 elixir in order to upgrade that thing. Um, we do have other elixir upgrades when it comes to our mines excuse me, and um, our pumps and whatnot, but all of our defenses are maxed out, so we might be upgrading our town hall fairly soon and then slowly upgrading the rest of these elixir things <clears throat> because, like I said, we don't have that many um, upgrades that we can do, but now that I think about it, why don't we go ahead and, so that one's level 6, level 7, why don't we go ahead and upgrade this and, um, which level is that, 7, 7, all of these are 7, so we'll go ahead and upgrade one, uh, no, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to upgrade one of these. Uh, what is, that's level 7. seven Alright, system's level 6. Let's upgrade this. <clears throat> that sucks. Now we have to find a bigger raid. But I think we'll be just fine. The strategy that I've been running lately down here um, on this account is the bag strategy. Uh, so that's barbarians, archers, and goblins. Just because a lot of times you'll find raids where there's just really elixir collectors and things like that that you have to attack. So we actually have to, this one looks perfect. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to get into the middle of it. Um, and I'm trying to think if I want to attack from the top and just go ahead and take out that uh, mortar while we're up there. So why don't we go ahead and do that. We're going to drop off some barbarians and then drop off some goblins so that they can do some extra damage. And then we're going to see if we can get in here and take out this mortar with our archers and then hopefully break into those walls right there. So that bar, that uh, mortar is going to be distracted. As you can see, the archers are taking it out right there. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Now let's go ahead and get our uh, barbarians and our archers inside here. Uh, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and take out that gold mine right here as well before we drop off our goblins. Um, so they are going to head straight into the middle of the base right there. And hopefully we can get all of this elixir now that both of his mortars are down. We shouldn't have a problem with that. Um, there's 40,000 left, and I believe that it is all in that storage right there. So um, as long as they get the majority of that, we'll be good to go. There we go. That's enough. 750,000. And why don't we just go ahead and get the two-star um, on this as well. <clears throat> and that's going to be... Good to go. I realize I didn't show you all the attack that I had just before this, so we'll go back and replay that one as well. There's the 50%. I'm just going to let them finish taking out some of this loot, um, and we'll go ahead and end the battle right there. But uh, 87,000 elixir and 100,000 gold is not too shabby. Let's go ahead and upgrade this bad boy. It's going to take three days for that to finish up. So that is going to be a little bit annoying. But let's go ahead and replay this attack that I was showing you all live beforehand. Um, in this one, I decided just to take out that mortar so that it wouldn't uh, bother us too much. And then just drop off these barbarians as a sort of wall breaker to get us into the walls. And then send all the goblins in. Again, this is the bag strategy. And it works pretty well because down here uh, in the lower levels, you find a lot of bases like this where there aren't too many walls inside. They just randomly throw walls around the outside and that's not too effective as you can see so um, I drop off more archers and goblins down here. Goblins work as really really great wall breakers because they are set at getting into the resources um, so we take out the rest of the elixir right there it's now at zero and then we can go ahead and fast forward it and 
They just continue working their way around, taking out all of the gold. So we got all the loot from that one, which is awesome. And we also got the town hall. I can go ahead and end that, though. But I hope that you guys are enjoying this. I know that we haven't posted one of these in uh, a couple days. So what I think I'm going to do is once I get up to Town Hall 7 um, and we have all of our <coughs> army camps upgraded and whatnot, um, yeah, so we can't upgrade those again until uh, Town Hall 9, I believe. Um, <coughs> so we are going to, once we get up to Town Hall 7, that's when we're going to start pushing. We're going to make sure that we research everything and we're going to be good to go and then we're going to start slowly pushing up as high as we can go on this account without walls. It's going to be very interesting, but I'm super excited about it and I hope and know that some of you guys are as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Make sure that y'all check out the stream later on today. I'm going to be streaming at about 1 o'clock Eastern time, maybe a little bit later, so stop by. It's always a lot of fun. Uh, it's twitch.tv forward slash gaming with molt, or you can find it down in the description below. But thanks again, guys, for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, you guys mean a lot to me, and you've really made uh, the last year of my life really, really fun and interesting um, as we've grown and as we're almost to 150,000 subscribers. It's freaking ridiculous. I'm so excited to see where we're at, um, and it's all because of you guys. It really is, so thank you so much for that. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it, guys. I appreciate everything that you've done, and uh, yeah, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later.